Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So my name is Jia and I welcome you to my YouTube channel as always. So today I'm gonna share with you guys three body types that you should know before jumping into your fitness journey. So if you are first time watching my video or coming to my YouTube channel, I welcome you to my channel and if you like my channel, do subscribe it because you will get to know more about fitness and health knowledge or sometimes you might have some travel video to watch at home. But right now we don't get to travel around so yeah, mostly my video are more to work out at home. You can check it out, I have like heaps workout challenge series that I wish all of the ladies can actually try them out because uh, I think it is very effective and I actually picked all those effective workout and put it into the video for like 7 minutes or 10 minutes and I think you should really try them out and commit to like 7 days or a month and you will definitely see the results on your body okay so good luck ladies and welcome and subscribe to my channel so without further ado, let's just dive straight into the topic today. So what are we going to talk about today? As you can see on my titles in this video, it's all about body types. So why am I choosing this topic to share for this video today? It's because I think that if you are a lady who are um, struggling to lose weight or maybe some of the ladies who are struggling to increase your weight, um, maybe you might tend to use some unhealthy method like all the ladies will do including me myself so if you want to lose weight or if you want to increase your weight please use in a healthy way I mean um, reach your goal in a healthy way okay because healthy overall is the most important and should be ranked the number one priority in your personal goal before you actually slim down or something else okay healthy is the most important asset that you have right now so if you are healthy in a healthy condition right now and you're thinking like oh I want to lose weight or I want to look better I want to achieve my goals yeah you can but please use in a healthy way so um, that's why here comes this topic three body types that you should know because before you actually jump into your fitness journey I would suggest all of the ladies to actually understand which body types you are before you actually choose what kind of workout that you can do, what kind of food that you have to eat to actually achieve your goals. So from this video, you're going to take away three body types, which is ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. So these are the three types of body which is uh, commonly found in most of the ladies and you are going to be one of them. I mean, you are going to be one of the type in these three that I've just told you just now. So, let's just start with the first one, Ectomorph. Ectomorph is a body type which looks thin and you have a slim kind of body figure. And I believe most of, most of your friends, I mean, most of the people might have these kind of friends like they, they, don't, they don't gain weight and they always look the same, they always look thin even though they ate a lot but they still look like very slim without any belly fat so why are those people can't gain weight because they are under ectomorph and they are easily burn calories their body type is like they can burn a lot of calories in a short time and they they tend to have a fast metabolism so if you have a fast metabolism of course you can't gain weight easily right so yeah that's why they always look thin and they have like long limbs you know and you might ask like okay if let's say i'm under ectomorph so what i should do to actually gain weight because some ladies they do struggle with gain weight they they can't gain weight so if you are this type of uh, person ectomorph you have to actually take a look into the portion that you have in a, in a meal like for example in your lunch you have to eat more carbs like rice or uh, the base like rice bread and of course some other nutrition like protein you also have to increase the portion while at the same time um, when it comes to your workout session you can actually get more weight 
increase the weight in your weight training session to actually help to build your muscles and increase your weight. So if you want to increase your weight healthily, you have to ensure that the weight is increased because of the muscle mass instead of your fat level. Okay, so make sure you don't actually overeat some unhealthy food like oily food and fried food, fast food, okay? Or maybe some carbonated drinks that contain a lot of sugars that, that makes you gain fat. So that is an unhealthy way. But a more healthy way will be they take good care of what you eat and you have to increase the portion such as a chicken breast or maybe if you're not a fan of chicken you can have like broccoli or nuts almond something like that to actually help you to gain weight healthily okay so that's all about ectomorph and I hope you actually get some um, basic knowledge about ectomorph and help you to um, uh, actually make changes to your food I mean your, your eating habits or workout session so let's move on to the next one okay so right now we are getting to the second type of body which is mesomorph so what are the characteristics of mesomorph first you will have a thinner joints and you will have a long and round muscle bellies while at the same time you are slightly muscular and you look kind of wider compared to ectomorph so this body type of people you will be more flexible which means like if you actually take good care of your diet and you you have a constant workout session you are not easily to gain weight but if you are getting lazy you just <laughs> being lazy and don't want to work out and at the same time you eat a lot for sure you are gonna gain weight you are not like ectomorph. Ectomorph, they eat a lot, but there might be a chance that, that they don't gain weight. So for mesomorph, if you eat a lot, of course, guarantee that you will gain weight because your body type is more flexible. So that's why you have to take this advantage by actually control what you eat. So how can you deal with your diet if you are under mesomorph? So of course there's some ways. Um, you have to actually reduce the crops. Try to reduce the crops or replace the crops with some healthy ones. Like a simple, very as very simple example will be replace the rice with brown rice or with millet with quinoa, and then increase your portion of proteins, vegetables, and fruits to actually help you to maintain or even lose weight. In depends on your on your goal right so uh, in terms of training session like um, what you can do is you can increase your HIIT training or maybe uh, cardio cardio training as well and do some weight training the weight is like just a, a normal one will do you don't have to take like a very heavy kind of weight compared to ectomorph because um, if you just want to maintain your weight just a regular training and workout session is fine for you to help you to lose weight or even maintain your weight to prevent you to increase or gain weight okay so I believe these are very clear tips that could actually help you throughout your journey if you are under mesomorph because you are very flexible and a very regular exercise uh, target on cardio and actually take good care of your diet um, avoid those sugary food and oily food fried food then you will be able to achieve your goals very efficiently okay so i think this is a very brief one and we are now going to the next type of body okay the last one which is endomorph so what are the characteristics for endomorph first you will have wide or thicker joints and then you might have a shorter limbs as well as your hips will be looks slightly wider compared to endomorph or I mean sorry ectomorph or mesomorph okay so of course at the same time your muscle will not be easily visible because it might cover with fat so most of the people who are under this endomorph might struggle with weight loss because of the food they eat and the training they do so most of the problems that cause for your weight gain under this category of body type is because of the food that you eat. You have to get rid or avoid sugary food, oily food, fried food, fast food. Yeah, if you are really committed to your body goal. So 
what are the diet tips that you can do if you are under this type of body is that you can actually control your carbs intake or actually replace some better choice to your carbs so one of the example which I have told you just now is white rice you can replace it with brown rice or millet or quinoa and at the same time you can have other nutrition to, to actually achieve your calories intake because you do need calories and you do need some energy to to burn your calories during your workout session so what are the workout or training that you can do if you are under endomorph so first of all i would like to suggest you to have a slow jogging session commit to jogging session for like maybe 30 minutes per day and slowly after a few days only you can start to train with your body yeah so a cardio can help you to burn calories and help you to lose weight first because you have some excessive fat that you should actually lose before you actually get into body training session right so this is one of the the way that you can do if you really want to lose weight starts with some cardio exercise before anything else of course in terms of your diet you should have a strict control do not eat some unhealthy food that I have just mentioned just now and instead replace it with some other healthy choices eat more vegetables or fruits or nuts to actually keep you full and stop eating chips or junk food in fast food yep you have to control it if you really wanted to lose weight and you are under endomorph so yeah that's it I hope you actually gain some insights about these three body types which is ectomorph, mesomorph and endomorph. So before I actually end this video, I also would like to tell you that in my description below, please do check it out and answer 10 questions to actually know exactly which type of body you are. So I'm here to actually let you know the results. Like if after you've done all these 10 questions, you have to refer to this session right now okay so if your answer are mostly under a sorry a a which means you are under ectomorph most probably that you are gonna be under ectomorph if most of the answer are b you are most probably under mesomorph last but not least if your answer are mostly under c you are probably under endomorph so i hope that question helps you in to actually um decide what kind of food that you have to eat and how to control your diet as well as what are the trainings that you can do to actually help you to achieve your goals so right it is very important to know your body type before anything else and I hope you really gain something from this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Of course, share to more people so they are aware of this important knowledge. And they can actually, or you can actually search more about it if you find out that you are mesomorph or you find out that you are endomorph. You can know more about it to actually understand what kind of workout or what kind of food you can eat to actually help you to achieve your body goals so i hope all the ladies or a guy stay healthy and achieve your goals as fast as you can so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video